Qinghai, Qinghai formerly romanized as Singhai or Kokonur, is a province of the People's Republic of China located in the northwest of the country. As one of the largest province-level administrative divisions of China by area, the province is ranked fourth largest in area, and has the third smallest population. Located mostly on the Tibetan Plateau, the province has long been a melting pot for a number of ethnic groups including the Han, Tibetans, Wei, Tu, Mongols, and Salars. Qinghai borders Gansu on the northeast, Xinjiang on the northwest, Sichuan on the southeast, and the Tibet Autonomous Region on the southwest. Qinghai Province was established in 1928 under the Republic of China period during which it was ruled by Chinese Muslim warlords known as the Ma clique. The Chinese name, Qinghai, is named after Qinghai Lake, Cianci Lake, the largest lake in China. The province was known formerly as Kokonur in English, derived from the Orat name for Qinghai Lake. History During China's Bronze Age, Qinghai was home to the Chang people who traditionally made a living in agriculture and husbandry, the Keiwei culture. The eastern part of the area of Qinghai was under the control of the Han Dynasty about 2,000 years ago. It was a battleground during the Tang and subsequent Chinese dynasties when they fought against successive Tibetan tribes. In the middle of 3rd century CE, nomadic people related to the Mongolic Shenbei migrated to pasture lands around the Qinghai Lake Koko Nur and established the Tuyuhun Kingdom. In the 7th century, Tuyuhun Kingdom was attacked by both the Tibetan Empire and Tang Dynasty as both of them sought control over trade routes. Military conflicts severely weakened the kingdom and it was incorporated into the Tibetan Empire. After the disintegration of the Tibetan Empire, small local factions emerged, some under the titular authority of China. The Song dynasty defeated the Tibetan Kokonur kingdom in the 1070s. During the Yuan dynasty's administrative rule of Tibet, the region comprising the headwaters of the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, what modern Tibetan nationalists call Amdu was apportioned to different administrative divisions than Tibet proper. Most of Qinghai was once also a short time under the control of early Ming dynasty, but later gradually lost to the Koshit Khanate founded by the Orits. The Zunhua Salar Autonomous County is where most Salar people live in Qinghai. The Salars migrated to Qinghai from Samarkand in 1370. The chief of the four upper clans around this time was Han Pao Yuan and Ming granted him office of Centurion, it was at this time the people of his four clans took Han as their surname. The other chief Han Shan Pa of the four lower Salar clans got the same office from Ming, and his clans were the ones who took Ma as their surname. From 1640 to 1724, a big part of the area that is now Qinghai was under Koshit Mongol control, but in that year it was conquered by the armies of the Qing dynasty. It was during the 1720s when Xining Prefecture was established and its borders were roughly those of modern Qinghai province. Xining, the capital of modern Qinghai province was built in this period as the administrative center. During the rule of the Qing dynasty, the governor was a viceroy of the Qing emperor, but the local ethnic groups enjoyed much autonomy. Many chiefs retained their traditional authority, participating in local administrations. The Dungan Revolt (1862–77) devastated the Wei Muslim population of Shaanxi, shifting the Wei center of population to Gansu and Qinghai. Another Dungan Revolt broke out in Qinghai in 1895 when various Muslim ethnic groups in Qinghai and Gansu rebelled against the Qing. Following the overthrow of the Qing dynasty in 1911, the region came under Chinese Muslim warlord Ma Qi control until the northern expedition by the Republic of China consolidated central control in 1928. In July-August 1912, General Ma Fuxiang was acting chief executive officer of Kokonur, de facto governor of the region that later became Qinghai. In 1928, Qinghai province was created. Previously, it was part of Gansu, as the Tibetan Frontier District. The Muslim warlord and General Ma Qi became military governor of Qinghai, followed by his brother Ma Lin warlord and then Ma Qi's son Ma Bufang. In 1932 Tibet invaded Qinghai, attempting to capture southern parts of Qinghai province, following contention in Yushu, Qinghai over a monastery in 1932. The army of Ma Bufangs defeated the Tibetan armies. Governor of Qinghai, Ma Bufang was described as a socialist by American journalist John Roderick and friendly compared to the other Ma clique warlords. 
Ma Bufang was reported to be good humored and jovial in contrast to the brutal reign of Ma Hongkui. Most of eastern China was ravaged by the Second Sino Japanese War and the Chinese Civil War. By contrast, Qinghai was relatively untouched. Ma Bufang increased the prominence of the Wei and Salar people in Qinghai's politics by heavily recruiting to his army from the counties in which those ethnic groups predominated. General Ma started a state-run and controlled industrialization project, directly creating educational, medical, agricultural, and sanitation projects, run or assisted by the state. The state provided money for food and uniforms in all schools, state-run or private. Roads and a theater were constructed. The state controlled all the press, no freedom was allowed for independent journalists. As the 1949 Chinese Revolution approached Qinghai, Ma Bufang abandoned his post and flew to Hong Kong, traveling abroad but never returning to China. On January 1, 1950, the Qinghai Province People's Government was declared, owing its allegiance to the New People's Republic of China. Aside from some minor adjustments to suit the geography, the PRC maintained the province's territorial integrity. Resistance to communist rule continued in the form of the Huis Kuomintang Islamic Insurgency 1950 spreading past traditionally Wei areas to the ethnic Tibetan south. Although the Wei comprised 15.6% of Qinghai's population in 1949, making the province the second largest concentration of Wei after Ningxia, the state denied the Wei ethnic autonomous townships and counties that their numbers warranted under Chinese law until the 1980s. Geography Qinghai is located on the northeastern part of the Tibetan Plateau. The Yellow River originates in the southern part of the province, while the Yangtze and Mekong have their sources in the southwestern part. Qinghai is separated by the Riyue Mountain into pastoral and agricultural zones in the west and east. The average elevation of Qinghai is over 3,000 meters feet above sea level. Mountain ranges include the Tangula Mountains and Kunlun Mountains, with the highest point being Bukataban Fung at 6,860 meters feet). Due to the high altitude, Qinghai has quite cold winters, harsh in the highest elevations, mild summers, and a large diurnal temperature variation. Its mean annual temperature is approximately minus 5 to 8 degrees Celsius, 23 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, with January temperatures ranging from minus 18 to minus 7 degrees Celsius, 0 to 19 degrees Fahrenheit, and July temperatures ranging from 15 to 21 degrees Celsius, 59 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also prone to heavy winds as well as sandstorms from February to April. Significant rainfall occurs mainly in summer, while precipitation is very low in winter and spring, and is generally low enough to keep much of the province semi-arid or arid. By area, Qinghai is the largest province in the People's Republic of China excluding the autonomous regions. Qinghai Lake is the largest salt water lake in China, and the second largest in the world. The Kaidam Basin lies in the northwest part of the province. About a third of this resource-rich basin is desert. The basin has an altitude between 3,000 and 3,500 meters. The Sanjiangyuan National Nature Reserve, is located in Qinghai and contains the headwaters of the Yellow River, Yangtze River, and Mekong River. The reserve was established to protect the headwaters of these three rivers and consists of 18 subareas, each containing three zones which are managed with differing degrees of strictness. Politics Topic Administrative Divisions Because the Han form Qinghai's ethnic majority, and because none of its many ethnic minorities have clear dominance over the rest, the province is not administered as an autonomous region. Instead, the province has many ethnic autonomous areas at the district and county levels. Qinghai is administratively divided into eight prefecture-level divisions, two prefecture-level cities and six autonomous prefectures. The eight prefecture-level divisions of Qinghai are subdivided into 44 county-level divisions six districts, four county-level cities, 27 counties, and seven autonomous counties. <laughs> Urban areas <laughs> 
Topic: Population. Topic: Demographics. Topic: Ethnicity. There are over 37 recognized ethnic groups among Qinghai's population of 5.2 million, with national minorities making up 46.5% of the population. The demographic mix is similar to Gansu Province, with Han 54.5%, Tibetan 20.7%, Wei 16%, Tu Monger 4%, Mongol, and Salar being the most populous groups. Han Chinese predominate in the cities of Xining, Haidong, Dalinga and Golmud, and elsewhere in the northeast. The Wei are concentrated in Xining, Haidong, Minhe County, Hualong County, and Datong County. The two people predominant in Huzhou County and the Salars in Zunhua County, Tibetans and Mongols are sparsely distributed across the rural western part of the province. Of the Muslim ethnic groups in China, Qinghai has communities of Wei, Salar, Dongshang, and Baoan. The Wei dominate the wholesale business in Qinghai. Both the indigenous Han and Tibetan people in Qinghai differ from their co ethnics outside of the province. The Han in Qinghai are more devoutly Buddhist and influenced by Tibetan customs, while the Tibetans may not speak Tibetan and are more integrated into mainstream Chinese culture. Qinghai Tibetans regard themselves as distinct from Tibetans in the Tibet Autonomous Region, and celebrate their region's unbroken independence from Lhasa's control since the fall of the Tubo Empire. Topic. Religion The predominant religions in Qinghai are Chinese folk religions including Taoist traditions and Confucianism and Chinese Buddhism among the Han Chinese. The large Tibetan population practices Tibetan schools of Buddhism or traditional Tibetan Bon religion, while the Wei Chinese practice Islam. Christianity is the religion of 0.76% of the province's population according to the Chinese General Social Survey of 2004. According to a survey of 2010, 17.51% of the population of Qinghai follow Islam. From September 1848, the city was the seat of a short lived Latin Catholic Apostolic Vicariate pre diocesan missionary jurisdiction of Kokonur, alias Kokunor, Kokonor, but it was suppressed in 1861. No incumbents recorded. Topic: Culture. Qinghai has been influenced by the interactions between Mongol and Tibetan culture, north to south, and Han Chinese and Inner Asia Muslim culture, east to west. The languages of Qinghai have for centuries formed a sprachbund, with Zhangyuan Mandarin, Amdu Tibetan, Salar, Uyghur, and Mongar borrowing from and influencing one another. In mainstream Chinese culture, Qinghai is most associated with the tale of King Mu, son of heaven. According to this legend, King Mu of Zhou R. 976-922 BCE pursued hostile Quanrong nomads to eastern Qinghai, where the goddess Shi Wangmu threw the king a banquet in the Kunlun Mountains. The main religions in Qinghai are Tibetan Buddhism and Islam. The Dongguan Mosque has been continuously operating since 1380. Measures of education in Qinghai are low, particularly among the Muslim ethnic groups such as the Wei and Salar, who sometimes prefer to send their children to madrasas rather than secular schools. The yak, which is native to Qinghai, is widely used in the province for transportation and its meat. The Mongols of Qinghai celebrate the Nadam festival on the Kaidam Basin every year. Economy. Qinghai's economy is amongst the smallest in all of China. Its nominal GDP for 2011 was just 163.4 billion RMB .9 billion and contributes to about 0.35% of the entire country's economy. Per capita GDP was 19,407 RMB $2,841, the second lowest in China. Its heavy industry includes iron and steel production, located near its capital city of Xining. Oil and natural gas from the Kaidam Basin have also been an important contributor to the economy. Salt works operate at many of the province's numerous salt lakes. Outside of the provincial capital, Xining, most of Qinghai remains underdeveloped. 
Qinghai ranks second lowest in China in terms of highway length, and will require a significant expansion of its infrastructure to capitalize on the economic potential of its rich natural resources. Topic economic and Technological Development Zone Xining Economic and Technological Development Zone was approved as state-level development zone in July 2000. It has a planned area of 4.4 square kilometers, 1.7 square miles. XETDZ lies in the east of Xining, 5 kilometers, 3.1 miles from downtown. In the east of the province, Xining stands at the upper reaches of the Wangshui River, one of the Yellow River's branches. The city is surrounded by the mountains with an average elevation of 2261 meters and the highest at 4393 meters. XETDZ is the first of its kind at the national level on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. It is established to fulfill the nation's strategy of developing the West. XETDZ enjoys a convenient transportation system, connected by the Xining Lanzhou Expressway and running through by two main roads, the broadest in the city. It is 4 km from the railway station, 15 km from Xining Airport, a grade 4D airport with 14 airlines to cities such as Beijing, Guangzhou, Shanghai, Chengdu and Xi'an. Xining is Qinghai Province's passage to the outside world, a transportation center with more than 10 highways, over 100 roads and two railways, Lanzhou Qinghai and Qinghai Tibet Railways in and out of the city. It focuses on the development of following industries, chemicals based on Salt Lake resources, non-ferrous metals, and petroleum and natural gas processing, special medicine, foods and biochemicals using local plateau animals and plants, new products involving ecological and environmental protection, high technology, new materials as well as information technology, and services such as logistics, banking, real estate, tourism, hotel, catering, agency and international trade. Tourism Many tourist attractions center on Xining, the provincial seat of Qinghai. During the hot summer months, many tourists from the hot southern and eastern parts of China travel to Xining, as the climate of Xining in July and August is quite mild and comfortable, making the city an ideal summer retreat. Qinghai Lake, Qinghai Hu Qinghai Hu is another tourist attraction, albeit further from Xining than Kumba Monastery the lake is the largest saltwater lake in China, and is also located on the roof of the world, the Tibetan Plateau. The lake itself lies at 3,600 meters elevation. The surrounding area is made up of rolling grasslands and populated by ethnic Tibetans. Most pre-arranged tours stop at Bird Island, Niao Dao Niao Dao. An international bicycle race takes place annually from Xining to Qinghai Lake. Transportation The Lanqing Railway, running between Lanzhou, Gansu and Xining, the province's capital, was completed in 1959 and is the major transportation route in and out of the province. A continuation of the line, the Qinghai-Tibet Railway via Golmud and Western Qinghai, has become one of the most ambitious projects in PRC history. It was completed in October 2005 and now links Tibet with the rest of China through Qinghai. Construction on the Golmud Dunhuang Railway, in the province's northwestern part, started in 2012. Six national highways run through the province. Xining Kaojiabu Airport provides service to Beijing, Lanzhou, Golmud, and Dalinga. Smaller regional airports, Dalinga Airport, Golag Makan Airport, Watugo Airport, Kilian Airport and Yushu Batang Airport, serve some of the local centers of the far-flung province. Plans exist for the construction of three more by 2020. Telecommunications <inaudible> 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 Since the Ministry of Information Industry began its ''Access to Telephones Project'', Qinghai has invested 640 million yuan to provide telephone access to 3,860 out its 4,133 administrative villages. At the end of 2006, 299 towns had received Internet access. However, 6.6% of villages in the region still have no access to the telephone. These villages are mainly scattered in Qingnan area, with 90% of them located in Yushu and Guolaw. 
The average altitude of these areas exceeds 3,600 meters, and the poor natural conditions hamper the establishment of telecommunication facilities in the region. Satellite phones have been provided to 186 remote villages in Qinghai Province as of September 14, 2007. The areas benefited were Yushu Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture and Guola Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. Qinghai has recently been provided with satellite telephone access. In June 2007, China Satcom carried out an in-depth survey in Yushu and Guola, and made a special satellite phones for these areas. Two phones were provided to each village for free, and calls were charged at the rate of two fen per minute for both local and national calls, with the extra charges assumed by China Satcom. No monthly rent was charged on the satellite phone. International calls were also available. Topic colleges and universities Qinghai University Qinghai Da Shui Qinghai Normal University Qinghai Shi Fan Da Shui Qinghai University for Nationalities Qinghai Min Zhu Da Shui Qinghai Medical College Qinghai Yi Shui Yuan Qinghai Radio and Television University Qinghai Guang Bo Dian Shi Da Shui Topic See also 2010 Yushu Earthquake Major National Historical and Cultural Sites in Qinghai Jalatandong Haplogroup DM15 YDNA Haplogroup O3 YDNA Tectonic Summary of Qinghai Iris Qinghainica native plant of Qinghai